So a little bit torn on this one. On the one hand, Games Workshop seems to be coming out with some new heads and shoulder pauldrons for every Space Marine chapter or legion. But on the other hand, all signs are looking that they're going to be very, very expensive indeed. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today I thought we'd just talk about one of Games Workshop's new releases for the Horus Heresy. Basically, in a Warhammer community post that have just shown off some new Imperial Fist upgrade sprues, they're mainly designed for Horus Heresy Marines, though they seem like they'd be perfectly compatible with the current Primaris as well, so they do seem pretty relevant for collectors of 40k. The good news is that this will be coming for each of the main Space Marine chapters or legions, but I strongly suspect that the bad news is going to be the price, and I feel that these things aren't really going to give you a fat lot of bang for your buck. So here are the two new kits that Games Workshop has shown off, one set of fancy head upgrades and one set of shoulder pauldrons, both for the Imperial Fists, and to start off they have confirmed that all of these are going to be resin upgrades coming from Forge World. Kind of interesting that they are still taking a hybrid kind of approach to the Horus Heresy. The vast majority of their new releases have been in plastic, they've even started to produce plastic characters for them as we've seen over the last few months, but it still seems that Forge World resin isn't completely dead and they are still adding to their very extensive range over there as well. In general, I feel like most people prefer to work in plastic if they have the choice, though at least anecdotally, I've generally heard slightly fewer complaints about Forge World resin, at least for upgrade sprues and things, compared with Citadel Finecast. I can perhaps still see why they'd be casting these in resin though, as opposed to plastic. I guess it makes a bit more sense for really quite small scale things that they'd struggle to want to dedicate a whole sprue to. First up, taking a look at the head swaps, these are apparently called Mark VI heads, which I found kind of interesting in itself as Mark VI armour is typically the beaky armour. The pointed helmet is pretty much the defining feature of it, and these helms seem very much of the Crusading Knight sort of style, maybe not too dissimilar to what you'd see on their successors, the Black Templars. To be honest though, I think head swaps would certainly be quite desirable for a fair few people with the Mark VI. A lot of people absolutely love the beakies, but at least a fair few feel that they just feel a bit niche within the heresy setting, and maybe a bit over-associated with certain legions like the Raven Guard. I think it might genuinely be a bit of a market desire for people who buy the Beaky Marines out of the Horus Heresy box set, that they might prefer to try and acquire some different heads to give them a bit of a different feel. In any case, these guys certainly seem to do that. They're basically nightly crusading helms with laurel wreaths, and I could certainly see them being used for other purposes as well, not even necessarily Imperial Fists. I think they look really quite nice for, say, turning a more generic Primaris squad into a Black Templar themed one. Or potentially, if you're manufacturing yourself a fair few converted blade guard, maybe using assault intercessors, finding yourself some power swords and storm shields, and then you could swap out the heads for these, which would definitely gel in with their vibe. The bad news for me though is the likely price. If they're resin kits being made by Forge World, then I think it's very unlikely that they're going to charge any less for their new products rather than the ones that they have currently. And they have really quite a lot of 10-man head kits available, priced at a fairly hefty £15.50. $24 or €20. Euros. I guess it does depend on the sort of collector you are. If you're trying to get just a small amount of marines and you want them looking absolutely as much in theme as possible with your chosen army, then maybe that could easily be a price that you're willing to pay to give your own models their own unique custom flair. For me personally though, I've always been kind of allergic to paying half the price for a model kit for a single part for each miniature. It seems pretty likely that per 10 models, the new Beaky Marines might go somewhere in the region of $55 to $60 per 10 models. So if you're then spending an extra $24 to change their heads out, you're basically adding an extra 50% to the price of the model kit, and still getting the same amount of 10 models out of it, even if they do look nicer. I guess I've just always been more of the persuasion that I'd rather have more models and maybe not have quite as many flashy upgrades, but of course your mileage might vary. The shoulder pauldrons are also Mark VI ones, maybe a little bit different from most of the standard ones as they don't have the embossed rim around the edge. I still think they could look pretty cool though on most Space Marines. I suspect that they would fit on Primaris Marines and things. They're generally compatible with older versions of shoulder pads and it could give them a very different feel. Judging by Forge World's current prices, it seems that these would be £14.50, $23 or €18.50, so a tiny fraction cheaper than the head kit though not really all that much significant. I guess perhaps the best news for sake of variety is that one of these is going to be coming for every Horus Heresy Legion. I'll guess that they'll be showing off the Imperial Fists and Sons of Horus ones first, seeing as they're going to be mainly on the box art, but I guess it's kind of cool that there'll be a whole slew of new options incoming for collectors, 
I guess it's always quite nice to have the option of getting a whole bunch of different fancy heads and there should be a lot of ones to choose from. Definitely could be interesting if you want to create something really fancy for either Heresy or 40k. I imagine a lot of these helms could be pretty interesting for Chosen or Veterans within their own chapter or legion. Perhaps one of the competitors to this thing, if you're looking for upgrades, could be the 40k Imperial Fist Sprue. This one's a plastic kit for £16, $27 or €21. Euros. Presuming Forge World prices do stay the same as they were, this would mean that they'd be a bit more expensive than the heads kit, more so in the USA and in Eurozone. I guess you'd see these more of a rival of the pauldrons kit than the heads one though. I feel like the heads that you get in this one are more aimed at sergeants and are a little bit more lacklustre. Not quite as cool or different as the knightly ones, but pauldrons wise you do get 12 different fist pauldrons, this time with the embossed rim. And you get a fair bunch of other fun stuff thrown in as well. Some little livery type things to personalise the rest of the miniature, a couple of themed power fists and tilt plates, and also the whole chunk of gravis shoulder pads, which I think you might be able to use to jazz up terminators. They might need a little bit of trimming and modelling work for that though. At least compared with the pauldrons kit, if it really is at that price, this one just seems like a much better deal to me. It's about the same price per pauldron as you get two more in this, and you do get a whole load of other fun bits thrown in as well. Being plastic seems a bit of a bonus too. Perhaps one of the silliest comparisons that really puts it into a perspective how much I feel that these things aren't that worth the money though, is say if you bought the Age of Darkness launch box set and you decided that you want all the foot troops, the 40 beaky marines, all to be upgraded with Imperial Fists, heads and shoulder pads. The Age of Darkness box set has been confirmed at $300 or less by Games Workshop and that gives you two characters, 44 Space Marines, 10 Terminators, the Contempt of Dreadnought, the Enormous Spartan, and the Big Rulebook. If you did want to upgrade all the 40 Legion Marines out of that, then going by current Forge World prices, it'd be $23 each for the shoulder pads per squad of 10, $24 for the heads per squad of 10, and if you wanted to upgrade all of them, that'd be $47 times 4, so 188 It just feels very weird indeed that you could be paying over half of the box's contents just to upgrade some of them to be your own given Legion or chapter. I admit though it's probably not the most helpful comparison weighing up one of Games Workshop's best deals in a launch box for a new game system and comparing that to a luxury buy that's probably tailored to big spender players. It's kind of hard not to think of the two side by side though for me, seeing as this seems kind of aimed at people who buy that big box and then might want to personalise their foot marines. So anyway, let me know what you think about these. Might you be tempted to pick some of these up for a given project? Can you see uses for those knightly heads either on Horus Heresy Marines or on something 40k? Or are you the sort of person who might struggle to justify those? Look forward to hearing all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you'd like to see more like this, reviewing Games Workshop's news and releases, please feel free to subscribe to All Specs Tactics. I'll certainly keep the new 40k videos coming, with new ones just about every day. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that All Specs Tactics does have a Patreon page, and you can find that down in the video description. The channel's Patreon is what keeps all the videos coming quite so regularly, so if you are enjoying, any support is enormously appreciated. Channel patrons do get a few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry into the channel's prize giveaways. There's one every month, and the one at the start of June gives you two chances to win the really big heresy box. If any of that's of interest to you, feel free to check it out, it's down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.